Oh, you know, it must be, it must be Christmas because the Lord knows why I want to do these things. But you find stuff on YouTube and it's like, it's just a revelation to you, like, that you can listen to the chipmunk song at the normal speed. In other words, that, it's going to be slowed down so the voices sound like normal voices and I thought, no, this cannot be true, but I did find it. So I think we have to listen to it now. Oh. I'll say we are. Yeah, let's sing it now. Okay. Okay. That's Theodore. Sounds like a, an old western where they play a tinny piano just before the bad guy comes through the swinging saloon doors, boom, 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 and shoots everybody dead. I think you get the idea. Well, I just want to go to the end of this thing. Thank God we're nearly at the end. Stand the That's enough, boys. They have, they have a fight at the end. Listen to this. It's traumatic to listen to these man's voices just shouting and bellowing these things. You know, somewhere along the line, David Seville, his real name was Bagdasarian, I think, Ross Bagdasarian. I got this idea of speeding up voices, but when he did that, he thought he would have to enunciate or no one would understand it. And as a result, it came out sounding totally ridiculous. My brother and I had a tape recorder, and <laughs> we always used to change the speed on everything. We'd record something and then took a screwdriver and changed the speed so it would go fast. We'd say up fast or down slow. And if it was recorded uh, normal and turned down, so it was slow, we would say they were giants. <laughs> so lame. And if we turned it up, of course, it was chipmunks. Just because of this crap here. I find it interesting that this, this caught on um, so well, and it's still around today. I don't know what happened to Ross Bagdasarian. Uh, he's probably rolling around in a gutter somewhere. He's probably dead. You think about it, you know, you ever have this thought, you think about, gee, all those people I went to high school with, just, you know, probably half of them are dead. All my teachers would be dead. They're dead. That's where they are. That's a sobering thought. But, you know, when you're feeling festive at this festive time of year and you, and you listen to this, you realize what, what goes on on the subterranean level of this great art that we call the Christmas song. 
So now you understand. Because of me.